Hi, this is Amin, and today I'm going to talk about wireless RAN for Gen 5G, CPRI, and eCPRI, and the things that are related to that. Uh, the increasing use of smartphones is a fueling for many demands, and every generation of mobile networks brings about new technology and infrastructure improvement to support faster data rate, greater bandwidth, and improved efficiency and coverage. To keep up with these advancements, base station architecture have steadily evolved over the time. So, speaking of uh, advancement and changing, so there are some major changes uh, which are valuable to uh, talk about them. So, uh, what are the things? The first thing is uh, moving from analog radio architecture to RRU or RRH, remote radio unit or remote radio head. And finally, we have the elimination of coaxial connection between baseband unit, BBU and RRU, which was a common source of signal degradation due to insertion, loss, reflection, and uh, the like. As we can see here, this is the conventional, which has the coax cable, and this one has optical fiber. So now they are separated by up to 20 kilometers of high performance and the high throughput fiber optic cabling. So, this te technological advancement was enabled by technologies such as CIPRI and Fiber. Fiber connects a tower mounted radio to BBUs uh, to, at the bottom of the tower in contrast to the conventional thing. So, what we have here, we have CIPRI and we have the front hall and back hall. Front hall is the link between the uh, BBU and RR edge and backhaul is the link between BBU and the core. And what is CIPRI? CIPRI stands for Common Public Radio Interface. It is the, the specification that defines the communication protocol running over the dedicated fiber link. CIPRI is a high-speed serial communication protocol for transferring digitized uh, uh, radio data and control information uh, between the BBU and RRU. So, uh, speaking of uh, protocol stack, we have REC, radio equipment unit, and RE, um, and the signals. So, CPRI specifications define the layer one and layer two requirements. Once the physical link is established, different information flows have access to layer two via service access point. What are the flows of in, uh, information? First, C and M, control and management, uh, used to monitor and control REs and then we have sync or synchronization data here uh, used for frame and uh, time alignment and finally user plane uh, which is which carries IQ I mean digitized uh, data samples so REC responsibility is signal conditioning and conversion of data into IQ data and sends uh, them to the REC via CIPRI. We have here, it is somehow like PCM. Look, we have the sampling and making a signal digital and uh, sends them via CIPRI. This is CIPRI uh, to the RE and RE converts IQ data to uh, analog RF and sends them to the air via an antenna. So this is RE. So let's continue. We have finally eCPRI. What is eCPRI? With 5G networks on the horizon, the density of REs will significantly increase to meet the need for faster data rate, lower latency, and widespread coverage. So running a dedicated uh, optical fiber links to RE is neither practical nor economical. And although RE needs to reside near or at the antenna, the REC can be consolidated into common areas to reduce deployment uh, maintenance uh, and the cost of that. So we have eCPRI and eCPRI front hall would allow for truly realized cloud-based architecture RAN and it, it specifies a packet-based front hall transport network infrastructure for transferring user plane information or IQ data between EREC and ERE. So we have EREC and ERE. Uh, let's compare them and the eye-catching part is in the networking. In the CIPRI, 
we have a dedicated fiber optic link between REC and RE. Look, we have the dedicated one and it supports point to point and point to multi point. It means between uh, one REC and one RE or one REC and multi REs with corresponding master slave ports. And then at working layer function are not sub are not defined by CIPRI. Therefore, supported technologies, redundancy, quality of service and security, all of them depend on the REC and RE front halls. On the other hand, in ECPRI, information between E, look, we have uh, we had previously CPRI, REC and RE, but here in 5G we had ECPRI, EREC and ERE. So information between EREC and ERE can be packetized over Ethernet and sent over the cloud. So there is no dedicated fiber link. We have the cloud and ECPRI a layer lies above the transport networking layer and does not use master slave per classification at the physical layer. In addition, it not only uh, supports point to point and point to multi point setups, but also supports multi point to multi point nodes. And uh, the thing is, they are must implement it properly uh, to. Uh, support the redundancy, QoS, security, and other function as needed. So these are the things that I thought it would be good to mention, and I hope you enjoyed. And uh, don't forget to subscribe channel. Uh, bye everyone.